Hey guys, I'm KJ Rice. Welcome back to another lesson. We are going to go over several different techniques that you can use to develop hand speed. Okay? Now, some of, a lot of these techniques that we're going to go over are already in the drummer's hand training pack, which is available at kjrice.com. So, instead of going over all of the exercises with the clicks like we normally do, I'm just going to kind of go over because I'm trying to cover a lot here. If you would like to get the lessons with the click that we go over and you can practice along with me, go ahead and check out the drummer's hand training pack up on kjrice.com. Or you can check out the drum fill masterclass bundle, which includes the kick fill system, also available. Anyway, so let's get right into these exercises here. One thing you can try, get yourself a pair of really huge drumsticks, okay? These are the Vic Firth Scott Johnson Core Master Sticks. I've had these for longer than I can even remember. They never break, but using big, fat, heavy sticks really help to develop your muscles. So when you're going through some of these exercises, if you have a pair of these big sticks, try using those. You don't have to, but it's just like putting more weight onto your barbells for your exercises. You see what I mean? Everything helps. Anyway, one quick exercise that everybody can do to develop uh, the right muscles in your arms and hand speed, strength, control, all of that, is just single strokes on the hand. Pretty much any instructor that's going to tell you how to develop hand speed is going to tell you this. Because A, when you develop single hand at a time, it helps you out with your fills later on. So however fast you can go with a single hand, you can just pretty much double that speed when you do it with the other hand, and then you've got a really, really fast sounding fill. So I mean, perfect exercise to do is just uh, one hand at a time. Now, personally, I like to do 16th note triplets, so okay. Set your click to however fast you're comfortable with, and then just sit there for as long as you can do it. Actually set a timer and see how long you can go with even one hand, how long you can go with the other hand. So if you set it for like, say, a minute and you have your speed at, I don't know, 80 beats per minute, and you're trying to do 16 note triplets the whole time, that'll really help you. It's like working out. It's like pumping weights for your arms, for your drummer muscles, okay? So just try that. and see how fast you can get with it. It's very important that you use your fingers in that so you're not just going all wrist. Okay, so something really helpful in developing your speed, moving on to the next one, is just fingers, okay? With that exercise, you want to make sure fingers are controlling a majority of the movement there, okay? Right? Fingers are very important in developing that speed. And then once you're done practicing with one hand, set your clock for another minute and see how long you can go with both hands. Once you've tried that exercise, then we try doing exercises that uh, incorporate both hands. So for example, try doing eighth notes into sixteenth notes. One example of an exercise could be this. One and two. Okay, and then you just see how fast you can get that. Gradually, with your metronome, increase the speed by 10 beats per minute each time you get too comfortable with the exercise. Okay, so you're constantly just pushing that limit. So, okay, and then 
and just keep moving on from there. Very important that you also do the exercise with the left hand. Okay? You want to definitely, definitely be developing both hands at the same time so you don't end up lopsided with your playing. All right, now this next exercise that we're going to go into is uh, one of the power builders, we call it, up on uh, kjrice.com in the drummer's hand training pack. It uses 30-second notes separated by, like, eighth notes. So what we're going to do, we start off with just this. See, now, we're, al we're alternating hands. We're starting with the right and then left. Okay? Very cool exercise, really helpful in developing your drummer muscles. Now, what we do to expand on that, and we have several expansions on just that power builder exercise alone, uh, you can try this uh, if you don't want to have that gap in between the sticking, so try this. So, like I said before, I'm trying to pack as much into this as I can. If you would like to go over these exercises with a click with me, you can uh, play along. Check out the Drummer's Hand Training Pack up on kjrice.com. There you go, guys. There's a few ways that you can develop your hands for speed and uh, endurance as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. There's more information below in the description box about uh, some techniques that you can try. And uh, other than that, I will see you guys on the next lesson. Until then, keep playing.